How to make spinacopita or spinach feta pie. In a large bowl, add 16 ounces of chopped, thawed, and well-drained spinach. Finally, chop one large yellow onion. Put your chopped onion in with your spinach. Mince two garlic cloves. Add your garlic to your bowl. Add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Add four large eggs. Add about 11 ounces of crumbled feta cheese and add ground pepper to taste. Mix until very well combined and put this in your fridge until we're ready to use. Now on to our phyllo dough. First of all, your dough needs to be thawed and room temperature before you use it. Second, when you unroll your phyllo dough, keep the plastic it's wrapped in so you can put it on the table. Second, you need to cover it with plastic wrap, at least several layers, and a lightly dampened cloth. Keep it this way at all times when you're not using your layers because they will dry out. Also, phyllo dough is very, very thin, literally paper thin. Be very careful because it tears very easily. But also, it's okay if it tears as long as you have your layers. It'll still taste delicious, I promise you. First step is to oil with extra virgin olive oil a large baking dish. Brush the sides and the bottom very well with the olive oil. Also, you're going to need a lot of extra virgin olive oil because we're going to need a lot for the layers. Now, working with two layers of phyllo dough at a time, carefully layer it on the bottom and the sides of your pan. Now, again, this dough does tear, as you can see, looking at mine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But anyway, once you've got two layers down, take your oil, carefully oil the bottom and sides of the phyllo dough. Grab yourself two more sheets of phyllo dough and put it in your pan. Oh my gosh, this came out perfect. Again, grab some oil and oil your phyllo dough. Yes, another perfect layer. So as I said before, you want to stop layering your phyllo dough at about two-thirds away through your package. Grab your filling. Don't forget to uh, oil your last layer as well, then grab your filling. Once you've got your last layer of your oil, um, phyllo dough oiled, grab your filling and carefully pour it in and make one even layer. Be careful so you don't destroy your dough. Once you've got one nice even layer of your spinach filling, you're going to continue torturing yourself with the rest of your phyllo dough, continuing as two layers, oil, two layers, etc. Two layers, oil, oops, no, oh well. Last layer, yay! So when you're on your last layer, you want to give it one last oil rub down. Now you might be looking at your last layered oil and you say, hmm, what do I do with all this extra? Easy, you fold it over. Fold it over, just go fold around all the edges. Don't worry about if the dough cracks, it's fine. Now when you're done folding in your sides, you wanna, you guessed it, add more oil. <laughs> Now when you're done pre-oiling again, you can actually pre-cut this as well before you put it into the oven, but only do it about two thirds of the way through. Try to avoid going all the way down. If you don't wanna do this part, you can skip the cutting and just wait till it's actually out of the oven. No big deal. 
You want to bake your pie off at 325 degrees for about one hour or until your dough is crispy and golden. When your pastry looks golden and delicious, take it out of the oven. Let it rest for about five minutes and carefully cut and serve. Enjoy!